So hey guys, uh, I got the day off of work, so um, I've decided I'm just gonna go look around in Anchorage and do some things that I want to do. I want to do a little bit of bird watching and uh, see some of the few species that I haven't yet seen in Alaska. I've seen most of what Alaska has to offer. And that's a fun thing I enjoy doing, just getting out in the forest. Some people like to play golf and they'll tell you a lot of it means just getting out into the you know, outdoors and getting some exercise and that's kind of what birding does for me too. It's kind of fun to tally up all the species I've seen and see some new ones. And I do have an interest in bird science, but also it's just a matter of getting out and um, getting some fresh air and some exercise. And I'll show a few sites uh, down in Anchorage and uh, some of the things to look at and check out and uh, look around the place a little bit. Hey guys, I'm out at Hillside Park and uh, this is in eastern Anchorage up on the hill side of the city. I'm going to show you a little bit about this quiet forest. It's really a beautiful kind of taiga forest with not much on the understory and really pro predominant spruce trees and uh, kind of a unique vegetative pattern with ferns and lots and lots of moss. Look at the heavy pine cone threshed area here where the squirrels have been eating the cones and burying them and making burrows. This stuff is extremely soft like a, a very plush carpet. So I thought I'd come out and do some bird watching. There's some species that have been seen out in this area that I haven't seen yet. And a good opportunity to get out and hike a little bit, get some exercise. Just get out into nature. So this is a old growth spruce tree that's now dying. You can see the lichens here and the moss. I believe this old man spear is actually a type of lichen. And then this is a different type of lichen. And then the base of the tree is decaying and there's more growing up here. Of course covered in moss. This forest is probably much like it's been here for thousands of years. place to find moose and bear. So hey guys, this is the hilltop ski area in Anchorage. This is one of our more moderate places to ski. Um, good for beginners and also ski jumpers. So check that out. The ski jump competition area. I'll uh, show you this sometime in winter so you can compare how it looks summer and winter. So we've got our lifts that start down here and go up over this small hill. And uh, the slope is gradual enough that you can't even see the top of the ski resort. And then of course these really great jumps. This place is just covered with trails for the summertime for hiking. You can hike all over the ski area and then this whole park behind us is full of trails through the forest. And uh, that's the cross country practice area and competition area in the winter time. People mostly use it for hiking and bike riding and dog walking in the summer. This is pretty interesting. It's just a plastic grass mat. So hey guys, we've got the uh, Anchorage International Airport here. This is uh, 
runway 15. We've got departing heavies. Uh, UPS is going next. Sorry about the wind noise. FedEx is getting on the taxiway down here. And straight ahead there you see the actual airport terminal. Get a little bit of jet blast here. Hey guys, uh, I'm down at the Tony Hills Coastal Trail where I've been hiking along. So despite the ever-present concern about uh, possibly running into bears, moose, and other wildlife, uh, I'm really thankful that there's not much else to bother you in the forest other than mosquitoes. There's no ticks. Not gonna get any ticks crawling up your legs in this part of the country. There's no snakes in the grass, and there's no poison ivy. And uh, no poison ivy, poison oak, or poison sumac. Those are all things I've had to deal with hiking in other parts of the country. Really glad not to have any of that here. And as long as you have a little mosquito repellent on, you can basically take a nap in the forest if you wanted to, nothing's gonna bother you. It's a really pretty forest. A lot of cottonwoods in here, birch and alder, ferns, and lots of horsetail, which they call a living fossil. Supposedly here since the prehistoric age, but stuff's everywhere. Some pretty ferns. It's kind of a boggy area in there. You can see the forest off the trail is fairly dense. Can be a little swampy too. This is a particularly nasty creature. This is called the Devil's Club. You can see there's real sharp thorns and spikes on it. It actually has little thorns underneath the leaves, and there's a toxin that it can get into your skin, and it's uh, a photosensitive toxin. So then, when you get into the sunlight, you break out into a rash. So watch out for that stuff, Devil's Club.